Christian Picciolini is an expert on hate. In 1987, I was recruited into America's first neo-Nazi skinhead group. Picciolini's testimony to Congress in 2019 was just the latest step in his transformation that began as a discontented teenager from a loving and hardworking immigrant family. So I went searching uh, for a sense of identity, community, and purpose, uh, sort of on the fringes, having been bullied for most of those 14 years. Uh, and on those fringes, I found a narrative. A man walked up to me in an alley when I was 14 years old, and I was smoking a joint, and he pulled the joint from my mouth, and he looked me in the eyes, and he said, that's what the communists and the Jews want you to do to keep you docile. Uh, and I have to be honest, at 14, I didn't know what a communist was, or even if I'd met a Jewish person, or even what the word docile meant. Uh, but it was the first time in my life that I felt that someone had actually seen me, that had included me. He stayed with the movement for eight years. I started uh, a record store in 1995 uh, to sell racist music that I was importing and making as well. Uh, but at that record store, I was also selling different kinds of music, things like punk rock music and hip hop and heavy metal. And, and I started to meet people who were black and who were Jewish and who were gay for the first time, really, and have a meaningful interaction with them. Uh, so over you know, the course of having that record store, I started to really challenge the, the demonization that was happening in my head with humanization. Uh, and it was those people that I'm so grateful for because they knew who I was, and yet they still chose to challenge me with compassion. Uh, and it was the compassion that I received from them at a time when I really I least deserved it. Uh, that was the most powerful uh, transformative moment for me. Picciolini has written several books about his journey and founded an organization called Free Radicals to give young people better options than the pull of extremism. What I'm seeing with white nationalism today is very similar to what I saw in the early days of, let's say, Al-Qaeda or ISIS. Um, the propaganda tactics are the same. Uh, recruitment is very similar. The use of high quality, uh, you know, marketing videos uh, showing kind of this this hope of of, uh, of glory if you join the fight. Picciolini says he's trying to be the person he wishes would have approached him when he was just 14 years old, so many years ago. Milar Sega, VOA News, Washington.